Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out Synthmaster 1 from KV331 Audio. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already, and be sure to hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so Synthmaster 1. This is a newer and more simplified and more uh, kind of mass appealing version of the KV331 Synthmaster 2.9, which we had a deal on recently. Um, Synthmaster 2.9 kind of does everything all in one, and it can be a bit complex and overwhelming. So if you want something that is a, going to be a better introduction to the whole Synthmaster ecosystem, this is a great way to get started. So here we have Synthmaster 1. We have a very simple single page interface. There's not going to be countless uh, sub menus and menu diving to create sounds. So we click here to open the browser which will categorize the sounds and make it a bit easier to find the one that you happen to be looking for. So let's go through and check out some of the sounds. You know we have a lot of bases here and even further um, organized you can see ARPs, so arpeggios and then bases down here.
So those are a bunch of the presets. If you want to create your own sounds with this, it's going to be a lot easier to do that with this one than with Synthmaster 2.9. While they're both very powerful, capable synths, um, Synthmaster 2.9 is going to be a bit more complex to do um, simple things like that. So let's, for instance, just open up Dunk Bass. I want something more like a lengthy note. That's good. Very basic, right? So we click here and go back to the synth interface. So you can add distortion, the compressor here, chorus. Delay and then reverb. can easily change the waveform, the oscillators here, oscillator 1, oscillator 2, also individual sub-oscillators for each of those. So already we have a very different sound. So just experimenting, that would start as an incredibly simple bass and just adding, uh, messing with the oscillators, LFOs, filters, everything laid out very easily for you. It's easy to create new sounds. Let's go in and try it with um, a pad or a lead type sound. So again, taking that lead, it's already pretty distorted. Um, you can 
change the shape of the distortion here. There's a lot of different tweaks you can do to it, change the routing as well. But overall, it's more simplified than Synthmaster 2.9, and you saw how easy it was for me to apply those effects and tweak them on the fly. Of course, any of this can be assigned to your MIDI controller. Um, everything is MIDI, CC assignable. Um, the oscillators here, we have a variety of different, uh, from the basic saw, square, triangle, um, sine wave to the wavetables, waveforms here from analog and digital, and then wavetables as well. So there's a ton of different stuff. So you can go from very basic stuff to very aggressive, modern, kind of uh, complex stuff. very very easily with the same basic preset so that was a quick look at it hopefully a, a little run through through both the presets and how, kind of how to use it and how to design your own sounds with it i mean there's a lot i didn't touch is the um, envelopes down here as well as the different lfos um so very fully featured synth just a little bit more streamlined and easier to use than synthmaster 2.9 but maybe a little bit more fun, especially if you're just getting introduced to soft synths or to synth master in general. So thanks for checking this one out with me, guys. I will see you next time.